Guys, just a few minutes ago, I did videos putting out content for Strange V2, and it was all a scam. The Strange Inu rugged with no warning, nobody telling you that they were moving to a version 2. Then they suddenly told you that they were moving to a version 2. Then from the we're going to a version 2, they put out just a basic tokenomic of uh, something that would support the continued pump and the continued price action. And then they migrated it over to a brand new contract. They put the money in, it was an unlocked contract, and then it was immediately drained out by the first person getting into the contract. In order for somebody to snipe it, they have to have tokens. In order for that to happen, it had to be... It's just, guys, they absolutely rugged it. And before being deleted, which I'm sure it's going to be deleted, and by the way, the developer who uh, is constantly answering questions and is always available and is never not near his phone, who's answered for weeks every question that I've had, hasn't logged in in a while, and his uh, login was at Zombie Strange. So, um, I think it's safe to say that they were scamming us the entire time. Uh, that's why they pulled back on Juan. That's why they pulled back on Xavier. That's why all of that happened. And what they're saying now on their Twitter is don't blame the YouTubers, but blame me because I owe you um, good products, or I feel like I do anyway, or I owe you at least honesty. They paid me $3,500 uh, to do 16 videos, a uh, very short duration that uh, would just, they want, they want me to look at the price chart every day and just say a little something about them. And that's exactly what it was. I took that money and I put it back into the project and the project just rugged. So um, I don't feel like I didn't make anything for it, but um, I got rugged. I got wrecked just like everybody else. Um, and it, it was, I'm not going to say it was a lesson learned because there's always risks when you're going into this. Um, I mean, I saw, I saw Adam was in it, so I felt safe at least. Um, Adam does a lot of projects. I don't see a whole lot of rugging. I see, you know, these products pump and they dump. Uh, I knew probably two days ago, you know, hindsight's always 2020. Two days ago when the price started to, to really buckle and you could see larger buys uh, or larger sells were coming out, then you could see the kind of the writing on the wall. They always say hindsight's 2020. But in this case, it was one. This one's absolutely on me. Um, I can't make it right for people. Um, you know, maybe one day I'll have that kind of money where I can fix anybody that got wrecked on it. But at this point, I don't have it. Um, I, so uh, I don't know what, like this one stings. Not because I don't understand that it's not going it, to, it's going to happen. And I'm going to, I'm going to go into a token and another token is going to be the same thing. And it's going to happen. Like, I know that it's going to happen. I don't like it. Um, and it affects me because I want you to do well because you listen to me. And when I get betrayed, then that means that I betray you in some small way or some big way. So I don't like this. I don't like this feeling. Um, I've had other projects that have just kind of given up or I had one that rugged a long, long time ago. So I'm not, it's not foreign to me, but every time something like this happens, I have to do some soul searching and decide like who do I want to represent? Who do I want to uh, do business with? Uh, you know, maybe we time, maybe we, maybe it's time to upgrade some product um, is all I can say. Uh, the BNB side, I don't have a problem with it, but um, this was um, when I look back, I'm going to say that I could see this coming probably a hundred miles away, but in the spirit of the moment, um, I didn't see it. I did get nervous the moment I saw them draining the liquidity this morning for no reason other than to create a new contract. They didn't have the contract number. Nothing was ready. Nothing was announced prior to it. No decisions have been made anywhere. It was obvious. Uh, but after that point, once they did it, there was absolutely, all this was, was a saving grace because if anybody knows those developers, those developers probably need to be able to do this to somebody again. So they were probably saving a little bit of face. That's why they're posting it on their uh, Strange Inu website 
on the Twitter. That's why they're doing all these things, but it's going to disappear in the next couple days because they're not going to pay to renew it, and they're going to move on to the next game. Uh, so watch out for Marvel uh, sponsored stuff and DC sponsored stuff. Um, uh, Thor comes out in July, so I got an idea of what they're moving on to. So let's watch out for Thor Enu on the BNB side because I got a feeling it's coming pretty soon. I'm sorry, guys.